Hi, I'm Natasha, and this time we're going to learn how to factorize when a in front of the quadratic expression is equal to 1. Um, x squared, for example, plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. What's in front of the x squared is 1. We have a trick for that. We have to find two numbers where the sum is equal to plus 5, but the product is equal to plus 6. So let's think, what two numbers could that be? For 6, usually you can have 6 times 1 or 3 times 2. So let's think, is there two numbers where the product is equal to 6 and the sum is equal to 5? So 3 plus 2 here is equal to plus 5. So yes, we found them. The two numbers are 3 and 2. So how do you factorize that? x plus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. So let's just pick a different example, but still with the same numbers, but different sign, just to understand it. Let's say we say x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So here, you still have the product uh, 6, 3 and 2 would do that, but we have to use negative numbers because the sum has to be equal to minus 5. So if we pick minus 3 and minus 2, the product is still positive, see? Because minus 3 times minus 2 is 6, but now the sum, minus 3 minus 2, is minus 5. So you'll see in this case, we'll have x minus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Really the trick, and I'll give it to you, is that when there's a plus here for the plus c, if here there's a plus, it means these are the same sign. So either they're plus and plus, or minus and minus. And how do you know if they're plus and plus or minus and minus? You look at this sign. This is a trick. So if this is a plus, both signs are the same, and here there's a plus in both. But if this is a plus, it determines if here it's a plus or minus here, both are a minus. So that was the trick. Now, how about if it was negative? Let's just do it now. So x squared, uh, let's say minus 5x, minus 6 is equal to 0. So in this case, you see, we have a minus. So I know that both signs will be different. So I'm looking, if we had 6 and 1, for example, or again 3 and 2, what two numbers would multiply um, to minus 6? So one of them has to be minus and one of them has to be plus. And add to minus 5 together. So if I were to pick minus 6 and plus 1, that's minus 5 and then the multiplication of minus 6 times plus 1 is minus 6. So the answer here would be x plus 1 times x minus 6, which is equal to 0. Here you go. So I hope you learned something here. And if you have any trick that you want me to explain to you or a new math lesson, please don't hesitate to write it in the comments. So, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.